A glittering and meaningful occasion. And all week long, the football chatter has centered around this game and these talented teams. Which one will outwit the other in a stadium both packed and passionate? So many questions to be answered on a day of destiny. It's Newcastle United. They face Arsenal live right here on EA TV. Hello and welcome to the northeast of England. We're here at St James's Park. I'm Derek Ray, ready here in the commentary position, and alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham, and commentary midfielder Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Newcastle United, and they take on Arsenal. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. And here's the Newcastle formation. Nick Pop gets the nod between the posts. Bruno Guimaraes plays alongside Sandro Tonali in central midfield. And the striker today is Alexander Isak. Corner awarded to Arsenal. Going short. Marcinelli. Spot on with that tackle. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome to determine the course of events? Oh, he's through on goal here, Derek. Well, hit with power, but shame about the placement. Here are the starters for Arsenal. Martin Odegaard plays alongside Declan. Oh, he can score here, Derek. There it is! The opening goal of this match, and what a start they've made. Well, here's the replay. He does well to find that bit of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure to finish it off. That's a good goal. On they go again, and Arsenal know they need to wipe out that last goal. Gabriel. Declan Rice. It's with Gabriel. Martin Odegaard. Good high press. It's with Odegaard. William Saliba. Gabriel. Isaac stopped a surefire goal. Martin Odegaard and a tidy tackle. Alexander Zinchenko. It's with Odegaard. Has the strength to hang on to it. Martin Odegaard. Rice with it. Arsenal pushing forward with options available. Kai Havertz. Oh, he looks threatening. Zinchenko. Oh, this looks useful. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Sandro Tonali. And up for grabs off the keeper. A decisive clearance it was. And Kessia. A foul, but no whistle. Instead, advantage with Arsenal. He has time to play it over. 
Very quick thinking there. And the ruling is offside here. And Kessia. Just the challenge that was required. Almiron. And scope for Newcastle to attack out wide. Good looking cross. And stopping the danger. Declan Rice. Kai Havertz. Well, half time coming up shortly. It's Newcastle on top. And Stuart, as always, very keen to get your thoughts as regards their performance. Yes, they've defended really well all over the pitch. Their work rate and discipline has been excellent. But any drop in tempo and this lead could easily slip away. And support available. Ben White. Determined defending. Anthony Gordon. They've regained possession. Havertz. The referee spotted the infringement, and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. Well, getting in the way, superb save. <laughs> Trying to deliver it accurately. Well, we're at the halfway mark here at St. James's Park. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. So underway again, the Magpies with the lead, but this game far from being done and dusted. Bukayo Saka. Rice with it. Saka. Moving the ball nicely in search of an equaliser. Well, honestly, I didn't mean to jinx them. Just wasn't a very good pass, finally. And Kessia. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. We can get more details on that injury situation from our man pitch side. In with a chance! Well, not every keeper would have been that brave. Well, he read it brilliantly, didn't he? Top stuff from the keeper. will get the advantage from the referee. And Kessia. Zinchenko. Havertz! And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. Well, the referee deciding to let the play flow, but now it will be a booking, Stuart. Well, as soon as the ball went dead, he was always going to book him, and he's absolutely right to do so. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. And taken short. Martinelli. Oh, fancy footwork. And still looking for space. 
No, high quality defending. Effective press. And the counter looks on here. Options available. And it's with Isaac. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. A foul, but no whistle. Instead, advantage with Arsenal. Gabriel Jesus. Martinelli. Now he must favour the cross. Well, it's open up. Oh, that is an outrageously good stop. Well, great reflexes from the keeper. He did brilliantly there. And time for the change now. And the short option preferred. Just the challenge that was required. Joel Linton. And what can they do to stop him running at them? Delivered into the area here. And he did what he had to do defensively. Declan Rice. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Almiron. Chance to finish. And a goal! They're going to take some stopping now. Two in front here. Well, here we can see it again. And he does so well to skip beyond the defender. It just buys him that bit of time to get his shot away. That's a really nice goal. Back underway with the lead standing at 2 0. Alexander Zinchenko. Gabriel Martinelli. And here's Saliba. Martin Odegaard. And Arsenal now find themselves in potentially a dangerous position. Plays it back. A goal! That's exactly what they needed. That should get them believing again. Well, here's the replay. He's done well to get his head up, pick out a teammate, and the finish is clinical. He just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? Well, they've gone to sleep here, and he can't believe it. This will be an interesting game now. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the score. What's going to happen next? White and continues his run now options are plenty Gabriel Jesus prepared to fire oh splendid header but a fine save well thumped clear well was that Arsenal's last chance Time oh wait a minute Stuart opportunity and it's a double for him in this game no way for the opposition to contain him and no wonder he's off celebrating well here it is again and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack they were so quick to break out from their defensive positions and his movement so clever once he gets onto it there's only one thought in his head smash it as hard as possible what a good goal The action continues, and no shortage of goals. 3-1 as things stand. And it's with Isaac. It's with Erdogan. Five minutes to go. Alexander Zinchenko. 
William Saliba. Rice with it. Martin Odegaard. And they need to get tighter. Rice. What was the chance they could get caught out on the break here? Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have three extra minutes. And crossed in there. In it goes! But it will not stand. Offside, Stewart. Well, it looked close, didn't it? He certainly thought so. He's making that clear to the linesman now. Martin Odegaard. Now with Jesus. And there goes the final whistle and the final outcome, a victory for the Magpies. What did you make of it? Well, Derek, it was a comfortable win in the end. Fully deserved their victory because they dominated every aspect of the game. It was a really good result for them here today. Well, he often cuts the figure of a thinking person's footballer. And Stewart, he's thought his way throughout this match. Well, he did everything today. His energy, skill and movement was just too good for those defenders. It was a really good display.